Uh, it's fair to say that because of the winning streak we're on. And, and I, I think we've done a tremendous job just, you know, listening to coach and understanding the trouble we were in after, you know, losing three straight and then losing to Notre Dame. Uh, there was a chance we couldn't have, you know, won the Big East of the conference. And then we ended up getting the two seed behind Georgetown. And we took care of business in the tournament. So it's just been a pretty uh, great stretch. The coach has gotten us incredibly focused. And our job is to stay incredibly focused. He said after you guys lost that game, he middle talked to you about being good mentally. You didn't lose it physically, you lost it mentally. And since then, it does seem like you've gotten big leads and not lost them earlier in the season. You were losing them. So let's go on to that. Right. I mean, like, like we said, it's, it's just being focused and understanding the goals. The goal is the, is the, is the win and, and the keep the pressure. On as, as long as the, the clock is still running, and I think we do a great job of playing until the clock just just ends, and that's been one of the one of the big things, you know. Even with uh, Syracuse, at Syracuse, you know, we kept the pressure on, and we just very persistent. We haven't gave up. Uh, I remember playing Cincinnati at home with the out of bounds plays. Guys are just totally locked in, and things like that just stick out. I mean, even the last home game against Notre Dame. I mean. We were just so focused, and uh, just being focused you know, enables us to go a long way. Russ, was it easy to stay focused these last few days when you're back home and hearing how great you guys are? <laughs> I mean, we go through that almost all the time. You know, our fans are, are very supportive of us, and we deal with that a lot. So I, I think we even, I think we do a, a good job of it, even if we're losing. I mean, we. We, we go through that all the time at home, and uh, it's, it's a blessing you know, to have that much supporters and have fans that's always supporting us. But that's, the further we go, the more we're going to get. And last year, um, being a part of this team, I remember it, and it was, it was just a great feeling, you know, just to go out there and play hard and at the same time um, have some humility. Two freshman guards, fast pace. Are you kind of licking your chops right now? Uh, to be to be for real, uh, we we know how good they are, and I know how good they are. I don't I don't take nobody lightly, and and they and they're good, so they're gonna give um, us our best game, and they're gonna play hard. And uh, my job is to just you know counter it and, and make sure I put the heat on and do what I normally do. Obviously, there's some perks to being an upperclassman, but with those guys, we've been playing the whole season. They're not freshmen anymore, so you can't even call them freshmen. And I have a tremendous respect in the game, tremendous respect in Dotson's and uh, artists' game. And the guy that comes off the bench, um, Lloyd, he's he's um, fascinating. So we'll just see. We just have to keep playing our game and just not worry about so much the classes because when you're here, then being a freshman or a sophomore just goes out the window. They talked about getting the ball inbound as a way to kind of combat your press so you can't get set up. Uh, I mean, what is that? how does that change your all's uh, approach to the press? Uh, it doesn't really change it. We just have to, you know, make sure we're just more matched up than uh, normal. And... That's that's pretty much what, what it's going to have to be. It's, it's it's very tough to you know defend a team that you know inbounds that way, but also it, it also throws off the you know press offense if we get into our defensive press um, correctly. Not many teams press you. I mean, what's the week of practice been like getting ready to face a press? Not many teams try it. I mean, I like it because uh, we have a speed demon at the point guard, so he just breaks it and then it's a break. So hopefully we you know we can see a lot of that and then. Kevin Ware is another speed demon along with myself. So it's just really, really cool. And uh, Lucas was, uh, he almost t um, took 10 seconds to break the press every time, but he got it through. <laughs> Luke, Luke was always at 9.7. I mean, he had to be breaking it. So, uh, <laughs> so having, having Luke um, up the court, being able to uh, dri um, dribble the press. Do you practice cool. against your own press or some of their press or both? Uh, or both. You really come at both. each other? Yeah, we really go after it. Uh, no matter who it is, um, Tim goes after me. I go after Peyton. Kevin goes after goes after me and Peyton. And then we we all try to chase Luke, but there's not much chasing. Luke still manages to get through half court. It's been fun facing your own press this week in practice. Or, or uh, in the or what? Yeah, it's been fun. You know, the pace has been extraordinary. We had a really we have a really good pace in practice, and uh, that's 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 been uh, very cool. Do you know Oregon has won a national title? Oregon, they have the first one. Oh wow, I, I did not know that. The only, the only um, thing I, I did know about Oregon 
was uh, was uh, when they had Aaron Brooks, and I think they was in the early days. I remember I was in Oregon last year, and I met a member of that team. I don't remember, but he showed me his ring. It was, it was, it was green and like Green Lantern. <laughs> they had the Green Lantern ring. It was pretty cool though, and that's kind of the only thing I, I did know. So they got rings for going to the Elite Eight. Yeah, I think so. Their coach compared getting ready for you guys like teams getting ready to play Oregon's football team. Is that is that an apt comparison? You think? I mean, fair, safe to say, you know, we, we bring a lot of pressure. We're an up and down team. We like to get the ball up the court. And uh, since I've gotten to college, I've gotten a chance to watch football. I've never watched football until I met Joaquin Buckles. So, uh, <laughs> so watching Oregon, I can definitely, you know, see the resemblance. Russ, have you guys leading on Andre at all, uh, being here as a number one overall seed? You know, we. Uh, coach always talks uh, talks to us about about his team and you know how, how they were and you know we and he just passes down knowledge and he says we we every team's gonna come after us and we just have to be ready. That's all it's, it's pretty much been. We all know how how valuable we are to be a number one seed. There's no secret to that. Coach just makes sure we're focused and that's it. He also said that he thinks he impressed him, maybe brought more pressure than even Peyton. Is that true? <laughs> Uh, man, old, old heads always gonna have something to say. <laughs> I mean, I came in, you know, Coach P. Coach P. said he uh, he never had a turnover in college, so. <laughs> I mean, you check the box scores on that. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did. Uh, I think Peyton actually knows it. Uh, Peyton Peyton knows it for knows it for, knows the numbers. Like he came into practice the next day and, and spit out some numbers. But coach, I don't think Coach turned the ball over like that. He was he was real good with the ball. But I don't think he was a good free throw shooter. I think he was a sixty something percent free throw shooter. Speaking of shooting, uh, you shoot well in a dome. Um, how do you think that's going to affect the rest of your team and maybe even Oregon? How's it uh, I think once we get up some shots, uh, we're pretty good. We just got to get acclimated to the menu. And then after that, uh, things should go great. Like like uh, it's almost like playing at Syracuse. You know, once you get, get a few warm-ups in, take it seriously, a little bit more seriously than you normally would, uh, I think I think I will be fine. Russ, what about this thing? 